Coming up on The Point, for the first time, cadets run their own helicopter operations. Stay tuned. Welcome to the United States Military Academy at West Point, New York, home to 4,400 cadets. The oldest continuously occupied military posts in the country, West Point sits on over 16,000 acres and is one of the largest school campuses in the world. Here, the leaders of tomorrow are trained. With over 40 majors to choose from, the Academy is one of the most highly regarded schools in the nation. The Academy offers 25 Division I sports, and several of its athletes have participated in the Winter and Summer Olympic Games. But the Academy prepares a cadet for far more than just educational feats. It prepares them for joining the ranks of the finest army in the world. The Long Gray Line has produced many great leaders, and here we will take an inside look into their world. I'm your host, Sergeant Alexandria Cornero, and this is The Point. As the Academy heads further into the school year, it is that time again where a winner for the Ninninger Award is selected. This year, the award went to Captain Robert Sickler, a Class of 2005 graduate. The award is given to a company grade officer who displays a selfless act of heroism in combat. Captain Sickler is recognized for his actions during an aerial combat flight in Iraq. In other news, the CEO of Ford, Alan Mullaly, spoke to cadets about leadership. CNBC also paid a visit to the Academy to host a special entitled Meeting of the Minds, the Future of Leadership. And for the first time, cadets ran a helicopter operation for training. Join us as cadets Rob Kirkwood and Han Seller, who is prior service, share with us the operation and how it came about. So we just come here, um, we go into the waiting area, and we give them a little safety brief. Um, after that, we bring them over to static load training. Uh, they get on this little little wood helicopter here. Um, once that's done, we go get staged, get ready for the helicopter. Um, get on the helicopter, we fly out around down by Bear Mountain Bridge. Um, turn around, come back. It's a, it's a little circular loop, nothing too crazy, but pilots get to do a few sharp banks and a few drops for us, they'll make it a little bit fun. I'm really excited about it. The UH-60 Blackhawk is a utility helicopter, probably sees the most flight time in the, in the Army right now. Um, it can move 11 people, so it can move an infantry squad. Uh, it's also got a cargo hook, so it's used for sling load operations, so it can carry like a Humvee or you know, supplies wherever they need to be. That's really the main mission for it right now. Um, I'm the, the CIC, the cadet in charge for this. USCC has uh, what are called UTTs, it's unit training time, um, in an effort to provide skills that I have and provide a higher quality of training for the people in my company. I pulled some strings and used some skills that I learned in order to acquire two UH-60s from the New Jersey National Guard to come down and provide a UH-60 Blackhawk uh, aircraft orientation of which they're doing uh, NAP, which means near as possible, low level and contour flight patterns so that way my fellow classmates and cadets can have an understanding of what the platform can do so when they become a commissioned officer they can apply that knowledge to combat operations overseas. Okay. I'm Pathfinder qualified. Um, what a Pathfinder is is they're a soldier that can go anywhere in the world and take a large field and turn it into a helicopter landing zone. I was able to, to persevere and acquire a Pathfinder slot over the summer and after doing that I was able to get I was able to bring those skills back with my fellow classmates who are also went to the same school and we're improving our technical proficiency at running helicopter landing zones as well as running, uh, providing training for fellow cadets. So my goal since coming back to the, coming to the academy is I've always wanted to try and apply uh, aviation assets which we have in gross over the summer but during the academic year it's non-existent. Um, so I'm trying to apply what we have over the summer and improve higher quality training during the academic year. So what we did here is we came out here, we established a helicopter landing zone and we're running at live helicopter operations from this field. It feels great to be a soldier again. Um, it's, it's a great portion of my job to be able to bring quality training to people, see a smile on people's face and make it feel like everyone has learned something useful and has done something important through the day.
For me, West Point represented the ultimate of challenges, academically and physically. Uh, I've always sought to go above and beyond, and to me, West Point was uh, the institution that would offer me the greatest challenge and becoming a better person, a better leader, a better soldier. My chain of command was very understanding. They were very crucial in my ability to complete the application process in order to get into the United States Military Academy at West Point. Uh, it's somewhat of a labored process, but it, it, it's essentially not undoable. And so any help that you can get is always welcomed. And I was especially appreciative to have received help from my executive officer, my, my battalion commander, my company commander, and several other NCOs in the company. There's no substitute for experience. And I think my prior service experience, my NCO experience, will help me better understand my subordinates, will better help me understand uh, their problems and make me more effective at dealing with those problems and helping them achieve individually derived goals, collectively derived goals, and institutional goals. While I've been here, I've been on the boxing team, the martial arts team, I do Model UN, speech, uh, I'm class president. So if you're looking for a challenge, if you're looking for anything in the, in the realm of academics or physical, then West Point's a place to be. If there's not a club here and there's an interest that you have, well, you can start a club. Remember, if you have a question for a cadet, please email us at askacadet at gmail.com. Well, that's it for this week's edition. I'm your host, Sergeant Alexandria Cornero, and this is The Point. All right, children. <laughs> Stop it, you have to do that. There's people coming in the middle of the clock. Roll it. Captain Slicker. <laughs> This is Cadets Rob Kirkla Kirkland, Kirkwood, don't even say Kirkland. For Ford, Alan Mullaly, spoke to you. It's like being a ballerina. <laughs>